right uh, hello everyone so yeah for this uh, unreal engine pedestrian system I've been working on so I got another request from the patron who is sponsoring for this so to check if this system is uh, working with navigation invokers so if you don't know what navigation invokers are that's a mechanism implemented in unreal engine to dynamically generate navigation mesh around the characters uh, which has navigation invokers so if I enable show navigation here you can see everywhere is green that's because here or if I am not playing the game just by pressing P if you have nav mesh we can see that here too so you can see everywhere nav mesh is already generated so yeah uh, so what are the cases that we can't afford to do that well generating this nav mesh takes some time and if your game is uh, especially a uh, open world game or some game that which has a huge world then it may not be practical to build the nav mesh beforehand so in such cases you have to work with navigation invokers so uh, around the npc characters which has navigation invokers uh, now mesh will be dynamically generated so for that first these are the steps we have to take in order to enable navigation invokers so we should have here yeah, navigation system yeah here generate navigation only around navigation invokers and here we also have active tiles update interval one as well let's enable that now if you press p here yeah, we still have the navmesh data mm. uh, let's disable this one too still we have okay let's do some small modifications okay uh, let's delete this uh, still it's there right undo ah right now it's not there okay so yeah once i delete and then added it again when i undo so the navigation data we had was lost so that's why even i if i press p uh, we don't see any nav mesh in green so if i play the game you will see the characters should be being spawned here but still they can't move right that's because uh, if I sh show navigation simply there is no navigation mesh generated all right now okay so let's open one of these pedestrians and let's add a navigation invoker component to this character tile generation radius 3000 removal 5000 okay let's keep the default values and then mm, let's play and show navigation still there are no navigation data generated right uh, what if we directly add one of these characters here and press p oh 
now navigation data is generated let me remove it okay so if I enable this oh right it's not generating maybe we shouldn't disable this okay I think I have missed some of the options well let's check again navigation mesh ah runtime generation okay this should be the one let's give it dynamic and also I think I changed this to one it was previously 60 so I'll leave it that way right now let's see oh right now you see the navigation data is generated so it can actually move okay but there is a small problem only one character is spawned here so what should be the problem um yeah i think uh here let's go to the npc spawner and where do we spawn right here so here we get a actor location and get a random reachable point in radius so yeah i think we get the the same location as it is because when we do this we don't have a navigation mesh generated i think that might be the reason so okay um yeah here uh i'll disconnect this part and put this in the middle and pc spawned and if i fail once uh, let's call it uh, not spawned let's change the color to green so if the character is not spawned then i'll simply add the delay rough let's say 0.5 seconds and re-attempt let's see if i can spawn more right now it is working cool okay and they all can work as well right cool um, so yeah I can confirm this system works with navigation in workers as well then and if I follow them and show navigation mesh we can see the navigation mesh mesh is being generated dynamically as we go away yeah like that see it is being generated as those NVC characters reach this way all right so I think I can stop this episode here and and if you would like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. The link would be in the description below. And also the project files of this uh, pedestrian system will be available for download through the Patreon page. And thanks for watching. See you in another episode. And this episode is sponsored by this generous patron.